And that's what's going on. Welcome to this battle royal part three. Part two, sorry, of this. Yeah, of this superstar battle royal. Okay, here we go. Over to our commentators. Here's Dean Ambrose, the defending United States champion here. As approaching to the ring, he cannot feel confident about this one at all. As he's going to defend against five other men. But no thing. The Bunny Bar gets away with this. He has to defend next week. It's Tango Rex, Fondango, and three others that will decide on Raw and SmackDown. I cannot wait for that match next week here on Superstar. But first, we've got this great match. Cesaro approaching the ring now. One of the real Americans. Cesaro and this opportunity after beating Dean Ambrose on Raw in a one-on-one -on -one manager match. And there's been some leaked information about SmackDown that there will actually be a two-on-two -two tag match. Jack Swagger and Cesaro will take on Roman Reigns and Dean Ambrose. So it's technically the Shield be the real Americans. Cesaro earning this opportunity here tonight in this battle royal. I cannot wait here for Cesaro to see what he has in store for us. Because I think Cesaro is really the runner for the championship here tonight, if anyone is at all. But of course, Cesaro is playing that he deserves an opportunity and a one-on-one -on -one match. But he could win it here tonight. He says if he does, he's not bothered about the one-on-one -on -one match for the title. But I think Cesaro really does deserve a one-on-one -on -one match for the title. Here we go. Here comes, of course, the energetic Bo Dallas. And will Bo Dallas make everyone believe that he is going to be the new United States champion? So here we go. Bo Dallas. Can he make everyone believe he will be the next United States champion? He's already been bragging on the main event this week here, only on the WWE Network, as he beat our truth the another man in this match, but Bo Dallas earned his opportunity by beating Zack Ryder on Raw in a very, very close matchup to see representing the United States Championship. Here we go, Bo Dallas did defeat Zarano on Raw, but his reverse was that good. CEO Triple H decided to put him in this match. He is the internet champion, it's Zack Ryder. Woo woo woo, you may know you, that he will be the next United States champion. He has as good as a chance as all the fans of the men in the final world, and he won absolutely fantastically. On Raw, never mind losing. Bo Dallas was a great competitor as well, but I think Zack Ryder performed greatly enough to perform in this battle royal. And here comes the weightlifter, Big E Langston. We have had leaked information on SmackDown. He'll be facing Fandango, but first he has this match. He's got a, he has a chance to become the United States Championship and I think Big E has a great chance here tonight. Of course he's had with Xavier Woods and Kofi Kingston. Kofi Kingston beat Fandango on Raw, but didn't beat, but he didn't beat, but Xavier Woods is on Raw and didn't beat Fandango, which meant Fandango is in a battle royal on next week's superstar sliding to come to the Tour Championship. But Big E looks confident here. I think Big E has a great chance here. The weightlifter, the powerhouse, Big E likes it. Of course, Big E, former Intercontinental Championship champion before Bang Newton Barrett defeated him for that title. As here comes, our truth, the underdog point of Triple H added to his battle royal. What's the boat down for main event this week? But I think he has as good a chance of everyone as everyone else. 